so there's some customizations here that we're looking at uh, on the settings, uh, some default settings. Um, we've got <coughs> uh, emails, we've got custom field, you have the custom field, sorry. This is um, useful. Um, so a risk system can have, you know, 50 or 100 columns in the, the spreadsheet sort of sense, um, but there's always room for one more. Like, as you just said, no two projects are necessarily exactly the same. And that could just be because of the people working on the projects is enough to fundamentally change the nature of the project because the relationships are different. Um, but you might want to add your own custom criteria. Is it a checkbox? Is it a t date time? Is it an, just an integer or just freehand text? So you can come up with your own extra data entry fields to add into risks. Um, this allows you to, uh, well, just do things the way that you've always done them in the past. So you go, oh, do you know what, Saturn Risk Manager, I really like the look of it, but unfortunately you don't do this one thing that we currently do on our spreadsheets. So it's a game changer for us. Well, no, you just add it. So FAQ is the last thing here. Um, add new. Think of this as your first line of support. Like, mm. oh, do you know what? I've had 20 questions this week from in my big team of 300 people using SRM uh, and they keep asking this thing. Either SRM isn't good enough or the jargon and the, is not clear. The corporate messaging around it isn't clear. So you might want to just write a, an FAQ and these FAQs can then be accessed under the, I think it's the question mark. You've got the FAQ here and then yep. this is what people will see and they can just quickly search for um, but the answer. So this is localized. You write these. So I think that's pretty cool. And then what would then happen is if you if you're a, a Jacob or a what a Jack or a Jill or whatever, and you're working on the project and you, your FAQ doesn't answer the question, your next port of call is who's my local administrator. So someone right. that's actually in your team that administers who, who does all this stuff in the back end they would then be the next person to ask for help and if that person can't help you then you would escalate to the safran team and we would then um, look to see how we can help you because of course sometimes there's differences between i can't do the thing or the thing's not behaving right because of human error because you're not using it right versus the software maybe has an actual genuine bug um, that does need escalating to us because the local administrators might might not have the power <clears> to to handle or fix that. So that's the kind of the, the tiering, I suppose, in terms of support um, that you'd be looking at. 